why is R290 or propane refrigerant so dangerous? A lot of people know it's because it blows up, right? But what, in fact, makes that refrigerant, which is an A3, which means it's high flammability, what makes it so flammable? I mean, when you say it's flammable, what does that mean? First of all, you have to look at how much energy it takes to ignite the refrigerant. In the case of propane, we're talking about a really, really small amount of energy, 0.25 millijoules, which is really, really small because if we make a comparison, a refrigerant like ammonia is still 300 millijoules, which is tons more. And ammonia is just middle of the road. We can go all the way up to something like 1, 2, 3, 4 YF, which is going to be exponentially higher. So that makes propane really easy to ignite. But there's something else that's really concerning about propane. It's the speed at which it burns. Propane is one of the highest burning velocity of refrigerants of all the refrigerants that we work with. 46 centimeters a second. Just to compare, the refrigerant we talked about a second ago, 1, 2, 3, 4 YF, burns at 1.5 centimeters per second. Once you go over 10 centimeters per second, you're leaving the A2L category and heading into the A2 and A3 category of refrigerants.